parents had a very loving relationship. They were a team. They were always there for us whenever. They always supported us. I thought it was great. Because I love you too much, Mark. She was uh, uh, very outgoing and, and very bubbly. I loved Kathy. Merry Christmas! If you could describe Kathy in one word, it would be fun. She had this musical laugh. Really enjoyed life. <laughs> It's Mark. Mark Wangler is an anesthesiologist and by all accounts an excellent doctor. On your way back, could you bring some of those donuts? You know, Mark's sweet, he's, he's considerate, you know he's I mean? smart, oh, he's you funny. Thank you, thank you very much. He's a very spiritual man. Mark Wangler is a religious man. I'm Greg Swinski, I'm the crime reporter at the Lyman News. I've been here for 16 years. On September 4th, 2006, there was a strange incident at the Wangler home on Yorkshire Drive. My dad said that he woke up in the middle of the night. I remember having to go around and, and, and figure out, you know, is there a fire in the house? You know, what alarm is going off? I figure out that it's the, the carbon monoxide detector, and I then go up to, uh, to check on Kathy. So he ran upstairs to check on my mom and she wasn't responding, so then he started giving her CPR and called 911. People do die by accident, so it seemed like one of those things that we initially were gonna write about and probably never write about again. It's like one of these freak accidents that you hear from people of other people's families that this happened to, and you never think it'll happen to yours. Nobody listed as a suspect. There really didn't seem like a reason to list anybody as a suspect. Carbon monoxide is a colorless, odorless, and tasteless gas. There were several things that were red flags, suspicious in nature. Three years later, you start hearing some whispers behind the scenes. You heard that they were in the house removing ductwork. They were continuing to check into different angles. You think, what's happening here? Why are they doing all this investigation? Is this a murder case now? I had formulated a theory that carbon monoxide had been forced through the ductwork at a very high rate of speed over a short duration of time up the ductwork and into the room that Kathy was in. There's a lot of mystery and intrigue surrounding this case. We felt we had enough evidence to make an arrest. This was a murder. This whole case hinges on the theory that gas filled the garage, came down here to the basement, was sucked into this furnace, went up two floors, and killed someone. That's ridiculous.